talk knives. Once again, a new episode. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're almost over the geeking out of our gear. Yeah, we are, but I'm still playing with it because it's, it's true. you know, always fun it's to do. It's kind of awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we thank you for joining us. Uh, you know, I think we're going to put together a good show today. We, we've actually gone away from uh, the modern stuff we've been doing for a while. Which is shocking. Yeah. Because, because that tends to be what both of us carry. Yeah, right. Except today. Oh, my God. What do you have in your pocket? I went old school. Oh, you did? Yeah. You've got, the, you've got a cotton sampler. It is, and it's actually the new cotton sampler from Rough Rider. Because you know me. <laughs> because you know, I'm a sucker. No, no, you. You have to plug the Rough Rider again. And I don't know what it is, but whenever they come out in the catalog, I'm like, oh, I need that. So did they tell you about this thing? No, but you were explaining part of it when I got it. So <laughs> go ahead and read about yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead day. and so I'm move go ahead and pitch. And do that. So cotton sampler is a traditional knife pattern that you don't see very much anymore. It's actually kind of fun to have because of that big fat, it, almost looks like a spay blade that's got pregnant, well. right? So... But apparently, according to some things that I found on the internet, and we all know that's absolutely true every time you read it. 100% right? accurate. This was made for people to um, go and sample bales of cotton and grade it, right? So this portion of the blade here, this extra portion by the uh, the tang, was meant to somehow roll cotton again. So you pull a little sample and roll that, and then you would be able to tell something about the cotton, whether it was from Earth or Mars or... You know, probably the quality of it, yeah. Yeah, probably. And then this is made to core a bale. So you can get deep in there and core a sample from inside, and that way you weren't getting uh, fleeced. Exactly. Fleeced with cotton. Yeah. That was good. It's pretty right? good, yeah. yeah. I like that. So in other words, you, you were not... Um, you couldn't just wrap the outside in good cotton. Sure. Dig into the bale and show. Yeah. But yeah, that's where that comes from. That's a great little knife. It, it is, and it was something different. I said, ah, you know, I haven't bought a traditional pocket knife in a while. I think they have four of those now, and they also have the mini um, versions of them. They do, two, yes. Two mini yes. versions, which is kind of cool. But we are going to talk traditional knives today. Uh, and we're, in particular, we're going to talk about Stockman knives. You know, here's my question. And you see this pop up on forums. You see it pop up on discussions a lot. Is the traditional pocket knife going away? You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, they've been around for hundreds of years now. Sure. Right? But, and, and we've seen some uh, patterns go away. And then what's nice about that is that, you know, from time to time, I know even with the Rubber Art brand, we go digging through books and go, oh, man, that's a cool pattern. That, sure. Like, I haven't seen that in forever. We should try to make it. Well, this, this year, Case brought back the doctor's knife. Yeah. And we even have a two-blade that has the pharmacy yeah, it has the paddle on it for paddle pill counting. Paddle on it, too, sure. Yeah, pill counting paddle. Um, I don't know. It's an interesting question. It's one of those things that, uh, as we move forward, we're really going to have to consider it. it, it sure. Are these traditional knives, or do you want to carry a flipper? You know, do you want to always carry that? Is it more convenient? Is this what modern people are going to do? You're talking about a generation who is dying off now. Sure. The generation that were handed these and other things like that, that were handed those at as kids and that's what they've carried their whole lives they're dying out we've got a much bigger millennial generation and a generation of gen x folks you know we've we've dealt with no knives at all or with modern knives but just to throw a, a wrench in this discussion you also have the pocket dumps that you see online oh yeah that have a tactical folder and then a victorinox right and, or and, anything with a slip joint, right? Because they want something right. else. John, John just showed me that he's got a Victorinox and a, uh, I think it's a, Ker a ZT or a Kershaw in his pocket. Exactly. Uh -huh. So you, I mean, you, you do have this, this kind of this new tradition of pairing the two, of having something like what you're carrying, and maybe a Stockman in your pocket, and maybe a Trapper. Right. Does the does it become a hipster thing? <laughs> that's the one thing I've always okay. wondered. Does it See, that's a weird. So, so then have we moved to the point that this very... John has three. He's holding them up in the window. He's terrified. <laughs> he carries he's those... A, he's got a little... I think that's a Schrade maybe, old timer. Yes, he's shaking his head yes. He's got a little Schrade Stockman. Nice. He's got a Victorinox. Looks like a classic. And then he's got Kershaw. Yep. Yep, it's a Kershaw speed, assist, speed safe assist. And then what you don't know is the heel of his shoe, like a James Bond shoe, <laughs> goes to the side, and he has he has a flash drive and a classic SD tucked in the heel of his shoe at all times. And that doesn't even touch that didn't even touch the chip that's in his head. So <laughs> no, that's in my. I mean, we, had him, <laughs> we had him chipped last year, so if we lose him, we can well, find him again. Well, then they can take him to the local vet. <laughs> right. We can bring him back. But I, you know, I, I do wonder though. 
to your point, has this become a new generation that's going to adopt the slip joint paradigm, to use a, a funny phrase that we picked up last year? I don't year? know. And I can tell you for 20 years that I've been here at Smoky Mountain Knife Works that every year somebody says, oh, traditional pocket knives are going to die. And they've been wrong every year. Every year. Every year. So let's... I don't want to jump to the product too quickly. No, let's talk about Stockman. What, what a Stockman is. Exactly. Because so, I, I think it, it... Here's why I like the Stockman. It gives us a good example of a multi-blade uh-huh. slip joint knife that has a lot of history to it. Right. I'm just going to hold this one up so we can look on camera three so that you can see what a Stockman is. I moved the mark again. Yeah, you were right. We're going to have to put that on a I'm so put some move tape around. on that so yeah, it doesn't just move around. Put them bottom. Yeah. But that is, that is a Stockman. It's three blades. Yep. So originally, uh, the Stockman was a cattle knife. A exactly. cattle knife was an equal-ended cattle knife, uh, and it was a little big. It had some other blades, usually a punch, a leather punch, which sure. was nice. A yeah. leather punch. I always think of, like, popping a cow. Exactly. Boom! But well, you could use it I that just, way. I just dropped Bessie. <laughs> the, cows, punch. the cows didn't like it. No, not at all. But the Stockman is n- normally a serpentine pattern in its handle shape. It has three blades. It has a main clip point blade. It has a spay blade. So if you need to neuter an animal, you can do that. Sure. Um, then it also has either a, a worn cliff, a sheep's foot, something, even a pin blade as it's a small blade. It has only two springs. So if we look on the back here, I'm going to flip that down. You can see there are two springs on that, and those springs support the one spring supports the. Uh, the clip itself, which makes mm-hmm. that a stronger support on sure. it. Sure. And then the two smaller blades are supported by a single spring. Yeah. Right. So that is, in essence, a... And stockman. that's a very traditional Stockman. Um, that serpentine handle gives you a really good grip. It gives something to hold right. on to that's not going to slide around a lot if mm-hmm. you're actually using this in the field. Um, and it was just a nice... It, it wasn't huge. It wasn't the fixed blade they're going to carry, you know, strapped to their leg. Right. It was just a good small knife that was an all-around multitasker. Right. They could use it for whatever. You know, they right. could pick stuff out of the horse's hooves, whatever they had to do. Um, and that, that's, was, that was my job in another lifetime. Was picking stuff out of no, horse's hooves? horse hoof picker. Yes. Horse hoof that, picker. That was, that was my job. You were a farrier. A farrier? That's what they're called. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> that is the only horse term that I know is farrier. <laughs> the person who actually trims the horse's hooves mm-hmm. and shoes them. Mm-hmm. A farrier. Nice. But it, the Stockman's very, very traditional. It's not as old as some of the traditional pocket knives. Um, right. It's a. It certainly is a, an invention. An invention of the last two hundred years. Right. But it's very representative of the form. Mm-hmm. Multi blade, mm-hmm. multi use. Um, the blades were designed for very specific purposes. Right. And these were knives that were used. Right. That are now being collected and have been for years now right i mean you know you have case and case is our number one seller here at smoky mountain knife works yep has been for years has been for years we're usually the number one seller in the world of case knives right so they're not going away anytime soon no and they're coming in different sizes so you've got like a medium stockman a large uh, large stockman Uh, yeah and and square ends round ends serpentine uh just all kinds okay see that you just hit on the point of what I like about a traditional pocket knife. It can be anything? It really can. Right. And they can do almost anything with it. So you see on this, you see how the bolsters um, really are one of the focal <clears throat> points in this because they're they're a different material than the rest of the knife. Um, you have a shield usually in a traditional pocket knife. The handle material, the scales themselves, can be anything. Right. I mean, from mastodon ivory taken from a you know right. a, an extinct creature right. <laughs> to G10. Right. Um, which we have some Rough Riders with G10. You know, you have Case does I've seen amazing Cam- work with Corleone and acrylic overlays, right. which we're going right. to have one of those to show us right. later. Stag handles that are ridiculously beautiful. Right. And, you know, high end. Mm-hmm. And everything in between. All the, way on, all the way down to, I've seen Canvas Micarta here recently. Sure, yeah, yeah. Which I think is maybe my favorite new look right. on a traditional pocket yeah. knife. And you guys, you just got to know that it's going to look gorgeous by the of time you're, you're done handling it. And then you can even go to an, an all metal right. look that's really engravable and makes it even more uh, of a cherished possession if you have, you know, birthdays or something put on the side. Right. Um, I, there's something to it. Um, sure. And some people, you know, this is, a, I have a good friend who he collects peanuts. 
Right. Oh, there's our beep. There's our beep. It's, it's telling us that we've got it. It collects peanuts. He, he collects peanuts. Uh-huh. And he has, jeez, he's probably up to 50 or 60 of them now. Wow. And he buys a case peanut whenever he comes into the area. He comes here and he buys whatever the new one is. Nice. Nice. Well, we've got to take a little break. We're going to tell you in this break that uh, we are sponsored by Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Yes, we are. SMKW.com. If it cuts, we carry it. Over 15,000 products online. Make sure you're subscribing to our YouTube channel. Make sure if you're listening on the podcast, you subscribe to that. We'll be in other places too. Facebook, all of those great places. But if you're not following us there, you're missing out on some special deals every single day. We have flash sales every single day. That is, what, eight items? Eight items drops at 9 a.m. Eastern time every day. Runs for 24 hours. Yep. Every single day. I know people who are going broke doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like watching the traffic on the website. Right. They drop and the people just flood in. Yeah, no, it's it's amazing. Uh, so there are lots of things like that. We offer big-time specials and other things that happen each week. If you pay attention on Facebook, I promise you're going to get it. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Instagram. All of that is out there. It's smkw.com is the website. And the company that sponsors us, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We'll be right back. We're back. <laughs> Short break. Short break. Yeah, no, it was nice. Uh, I ran out to the store and picked up some beef jerky. <laughs> well, you know, as long as you're prepared for the podcast, it's just going to make you have to drink more Mountain Dew. <laughs> it, I'm going to do it right now. Exactly. So let's get into these. Do you want to talk about the Rough Rider that we've been sitting it, there, and I'll hold it? You, you know what I you like about, about these? It, I'll hold it. Yeah. You know what I, what I like about these? Hmm. I don't have to wonder which one I'm looking at and have them in a specific order because they all have different <clears> handle <throat> materials, and I can just go, oh. That's true. That's the Copper Series. That's true. So we'll start in the spectrum. We're going to start with the, uh, the least expensive. We are. This is a Rough Rider. Copper Series Stockman, um, Rough Rider brand. Almost all of their traditional pocket knives are a 440A stainless steel blade. Um, these, this has a black smooth bone handle, uh, copper pins, ringed pinch bolsters. Um, so hang on a second. That's 440A stainless steel. Why does it look black? Uh, because it, this has a, a, a stone wash finish. There it is. Yes, I was looking for it. A stone wash <laughs> finish on it, um, which gives it a different look than most of the Rough Rider knives. You don't have that that mirror finish on the outside. Right. Um, it also means for me, that they don't pick up fingerprints quite as bad. Oh, yeah. And, and what I like about that <laughs> is that it's... Okay, so if you grew up with a dad who carried a, a carbon blade knife, sure. it turns black. Yes. And, I, I mean, I love that. So, to me, well, the black stone wash ends up looking like a good patinaed old carbon like knife. Like it's been used. Instead That's of having right. to take the carbon knife and stick it in an orange overnight. Right. So, it picks a patina fast. Right. Exactly. So what else has got this has has what kind of handle? You've got a um, black smooth bone handle. Right. Um, you've got it's about three and three quarter inches closed, three inch clip point blade, two and an eighth sheep foot, and one and seven eighth spay blade on this. So I'm looking and seeing a whole bunch of copper on this thing. Real copper. Yeah, real copper. So this got, is the this is the copper series. We have a whole line of various patterns I mean, I'm that have that copper see series see inside of it. But it, it's it's got it's beautiful. It's got copper liners. Yeah. It's Which, again, isn't something you see. Copper pins, copper shield, copper bolsters. Yeah. On the copper and the, the bolsters, if you look at really close on the bolsters, they're lined, so we have uh-huh. this groove, and they're pinched, so the ends have been pinched in a little bit. And, and you're talking to uh, steel springs? Yeah. I mean, just look at the fit and finish on that. I mean, it's really nice. And to use another word, the walk and talk of this is really good you yeah. can hear the blade snap open i'm not closed. gonna i'm not gonna do that maybe i'll do that with one here yeah 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 you can hear it pop yeah but that is the rough rider copper series stockman yes and that thing is only 14.99 and i think that's what i like about the rough rider series the rough rider brand i'll tell you what you can do with it <laughs> <laughs> oh will you yeah, i will what you can do with rough rider is try out a pattern so in my opinion sure. It's worth it to me if under fifteen bucks to go try out a pattern, okay. right? And so a lot of the things that are there are nine ninety nine. I can go pick it up if I don't like it. Well, I only was out ten bucks exactly. Right. And if you're looking for a gift mm-hmm. for someone, you don't know what pattern they like. They're new to knives. Maybe it's a young person who you want to get something for that they may carry for a while. It's right. a great way to introduce somebody oh, yeah. to a pocket knife who they don't know what they want yet. Right. Right. Uh, you know, my my cotton sampler. It's right. twelve ninety nine. Yeah, 
I don't mind parting with twelve ninety nine to determine if I like that size, right. that shape of knife in my pocket. And that's always fun when you find somebody who seems enthusiastic about a knife sure. just to hand it to them and let them have and it. Go here, try yeah. this out, see yeah, what you no, think. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. I've parted with many, many knives that way. Let's move on and uh, yeah, talk about the. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, we've got the uh, Boker Tree brand with a rosewood handle. I'm going to put it right there and just let it sit for a second. John can get on that and make sure we've... Oh, i got to hold it up. I love Boker knives. This is Sol- Solingen steel blades. Yes, indeed. Made in Germany. Yeah, it's got the frosted edge, just like most of the classic tree brand that's there. Um, excuse me. Brass liners, nickel silver pins, bolsters, and a shield. Uh, one and seven eighths inch spay, spay blade. Yeah, I'm gonna move that around so I can actually see it. A two inch sheep's foot blade, a three inch clip point blade, and it's a one sixteenth inch thick uh, on all the blades, about four inches closed. And yes, yep. this is made in Germany. I mean, fifty nine ninety nine. Fifty nine ninety nine. So right at sixty bucks, it's a jump from that Rough Rider to that Boker. Right. But you're getting solid and steel. You're getting a German made traditional pocket knife for $60 right. um, with just a gorgeous wood handle. Again, what we wanted to show is kind of the variety of handle types. And you can um, see the fit and finish on this one as well. You know, we're going to range from synthetic. Mm-hmm. Say the word for me. Oh, on the Coraline. Case Coraline um, oh, to stag. <laughs> like you should have the big horn to blow on the side of the mountain. Uh, but it, you know, this is this is a a this is, completely different look to the Stockman. Yeah, so that's rosewood, and it probably won't shrink in your pocket. It's probably already been treated. It's, yeah, you know, it's fantastic. But again, it'll patina. It will wear. It will wear. That's exactly right. Oh my gosh, when that goes smooth to the way you hold it and the way you use it, it's going to be gorgeous. Something else, and this is this is me. It's flat on the sides, so when you set this on a table, right, it doesn't roll around. Right, it lays flat. I'm going to cut myself before this you, is over. That's why I'm letting I mean, you handle them. You've seen what I do with a knife. <laughs> Be digging it out of your thigh. That's right. So let's move up one, and I'm going to let you talk about the, uh, what, Baron Son Large Stockman. It, this one's a little bigger than what we've seen so far. Yes, indeed. And I uh, this is one of the ones that I, and I think I like this handle material the best simply because it's so traditional looking. This is an India stag bone handle. Mm-hmm. Um, this is made in the USA by Baron Sons. 440 high carbon stainless steel blades. So even more traditional that this is a high carbon right. blade. These blades are going to patina. Right. They're going to pick up that uh, a lot like the stone wash look that we had on the Rough Rider. Right. But it's going to happen naturally with the oxidation and, and the use of those blades. Right. Um, and again, India stag bone handles, nickel silver pins, bolsters, a two inch uh, spay blade, a two and an eighth sheep's foot, a three inch clip point. This is three and a seventh eighth inch closed little bit smaller closed than that than that boker um but this is the large stockman from baron sons look at this i mean look at the size of the slab of yeah. india stag it's a big piece of, st- of stag yeah it's nice yeah i mean that's that's a gorgeous knife i have a a really large case trapper that's like that it's sure just, i love it, it I love there's it. just something there's about something very it's traditional you, you feel like you could have pulled this off a of mountain man and each of those handles is going to be different, right? You see how they, you know, they take the time to to recess that shield into the stag itself. You're not going to find two of these that are the same. They may be similar, right? But they're never going to be the same because all those pieces of handle material are unique, right? And it just, I, I love it. And again, much like that wood handle, it's going to wear. It's going to pick up oils from your hand and from use, and it's just going to, it's going to have. This what was the price on this one? Uh, this one is forty nine ninety nine. Wow, fifty bucks. 50 bucks for, for a stag handle made in the USA. Handle. Yeah. And it's Baron Sons, a, a brand that I yeah. love. I yeah. actually like their butterfly knives. <laughs> but but they make great traditional right. pocket knives too. You're going to you're going to beat me after this because I'll do it again. It's Baron Son. Did you know that? You know, I think I always put the S on the end too. Yeah, you do, right? You're giving him more kids than he has. Well, he needs another son. <laughs> <laughs> to help. That's Baron's son at forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Let's talk about the one that I let you pick for sure. Oh, this is my favorite uh, new pattern they had last year, this, or handle material they is, had last year. I mean, I like Case, but that is not my favorite. Is it not? No. I like. The I mean, if I want this. that wrapped, I do. You know, it's neat. No, Go ahead, I, tell us, tell us about it because you, okay. you picked this one. This is the pumpkin pattern. Um, it is the old school Case logo. So if you see. Um, and I'm actually looking at one right now. The the case paste boxed, boxed. The case paste box that we have up here in the in the in the, the studio. 
you can see this exact same pattern on mm -hmm. that box. Um, this is a traditional case stockman. Right. It's got true sharp surgical steel blades, brass liners, nickel silver bolsters, three inch clip point, two inch sheep's foot, and spay blades. Um, it's one in the 16th inch thickness on all the blades, three and five eighths closed, so almost four inches closed, made in the USA by case. And I love, love that pattern on the side. Right. Um, pumpkin pattern, obviously, because it's nice and orange, but just look at that. Right. And there's the, the leaf springs in the back. Yeah. I mean, talk about tradition, though. You you have a company who's going here, you know, right on the nose. This is something that we used in the past. This is a, a right. pattern that we've had on our merchandising. Right. Let's finally put it on the actual, on the handle, of the, on the, the handle material of a knife. Yeah, with Coralon. With Coralon. Which is, yeah. Corleone. 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 <laughs> Don Corleone. Don Corleone. We'll do a little dance party um, in USA exactly. with Don Corleone. Oh, that was Don Cornelius. I'm telling you, that was close. That I almost was. did it. I almost did it. I almost cut myself with that. But again, this is a, this is one of, I, I would hate to wager how many different patterns, different materials over the year cases produced a stock. I'm sure it's just tons. I mean, that's a mainstay. It's, it's hundreds. Right? You no, know, it's a mainstay because sure. uh, the stockman is always going to sell. Always. Always. And it's going to come in two different sizes. It's going yep. to come in a few different patterns. But it's going to sell. It's going to be part of the main mix. It's going to be right there with the trapper. Exactly. It's going to be right there with what a canoe probably sure a canoe uh you know the trapper the stockman the congress mm -hmm. the canoe those are those are the ones you see a lot of i always feel like i'm dying when that beep goes off <laughs> no it's when you don't hear the beep that you're dying. <laughs> so, well, so that's how you know <laughs> you you're want dead. that to be consistent that you did well we're going to wrap up here if you want any of these things i'm going to put these in the show notes for you um there'll be links and there'll be a little information on how to get that please 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 subscribe to this channel like this video, share it with your friends. Find us on what Libsyn. We'll put Libsyn. that link up. Find yep. us on Facebook. Make sure you're watching. Make sure you tell us what you like about these stockmen. Which exactly. stockmen do you like? Which stockmen do you not like? Uh, what do you want to see from us on future shows? Just let us know. Make a comment. Get involved in the conversation. Right. That's what we want. Yeah, we, th we want this to be a two-way street. We want you to say, we don't like Stockman's. We like a <laughs> peanut pattern. We like we like a lady leg. <laughs> then we might slap you right on the I air. I think we need to bring out the lady legs and talk <laughs> about those one week. I do not like lady legs. Let's and save on, it. On that note, we'll see you next time.